Hello. So today I'm going to show you how my XP Pen tablet is connected to my laptop. It's important to note that these tablets do not work as standalone tablets. You can't just bring this with you in your car and not have anything else and be able to draw on it. It works by connecting to a computer or a laptop or something and that computer or laptop is doing the software. It's running whatever the software is and it's sending a monitor signal to the tablet and then it's also sensing the pressure on the tablet just as if it was a mouse or drawing tablet or some other kind of device like that so that you can interact with the program. But this tablet does not have any program inside its brain. All it's doing is showing the image from the laptop or computer and then it's sending signals back about what the mouse is doing in essence based on your stylus putting pressure onto it. So when you first connect up your XP Pen tablet to your laptop or computer, it's going to need to install drivers just like any other external device, you know, any keyboard or mouse or anything. On Windows, it's very easy. You just go to the XP Pen website where they, uh, they give you a link and then you download the device. So it installed super fast and easy. I'm not sure on your Mac. I'm sure for Macs it's just as easy that you either plug it in or something. But they have all the instructions in their little booklet. So whatever you're using, PC, Mac, or something else, you get the driver somehow so that the computer knows how to talk to this tablet. And then <laughs> it looks like there's a lot of cables. So let me explain what the cable situation is. There really aren't that many. There is just one cable involved here. It's this one here but it has three parts, which is why it can seem so complicated. So there are three cables in here. One of them has a red end, and they give you an extension cord that goes off to a power plug. And they even give you all sorts of European and US kinds of power plugs for it to connect to. So whatever kind of location you're in, you should be able to get this to work even if you're traveling. So one of the three plugs is a power plug. It just goes to a power outlet and that is fine. Plug number two goes right back into the computer as a USB plug. So this is just a loop out of the HDMI port and back into the USB. So that one is also very straightforward. And the third one goes to the XP Pen tablet because somehow you need to be able to, oops, somehow you need to be able to send a signal out of the computer and into the tablet and then from the tablet when you're doing things on it out to the computer. So. While it looks like there's a lot of cables over here, it is really just this one unit going into the HDMI port that sends out one to the power. And again, they give you the extension cord even to be able to get there. It's a USB extension cord. One goes right back in to the USB port. And the third one comes over here and goes in to the XP Pen tablet. So the cables are straightforward. They give you all the cables. You don't have to buy anything at all. And the driver is straightforward. Again, on Windows, you just go to their website and download the driver and poof, about 30 seconds later, everything is up and working. And this unit has no software on it. All it's doing is showing you the screen from whatever software you're running over here on your laptop or PC or whatever it is that you're using. You can use pretty much any software because all this is is a monitor. So you can use, you know, Photoshop or you can use Illustrator or all these other things. What I decided to test out is they give you free software, which is called ArtRage. So as part of the purchase of this, they give you a choice of either photo editing software or animation software but I choose, chose their drawing software, ArtRage, because a number of the teens that I work with use it and love it. And it really is super easy to use. You've got a bunch of different brush styles over here, so you can choose different watercolor brushes or acrylic style brushes or pens. And over here, you get a color wheel. So you just click to choose whatever color you want and whatever darkness, and they even have metallics. So you just choose your type of brush, choose your type of color, and then start drawing with your stylus. And if you decide you want a different color, you just click on a different color and start drawing. And you can create different layers. So you put all the black stuff on one layer and then all the blue stuff on another layer if you want to do it that way. So it's very easy to learn and then very flexible in terms of actually using it. 
So that is how it connects. It is a very fast setup. Probably took me two minutes tops before I got the thing up and running on this system. And I am very happy with it so far. So I'm going to record some videos of me actually drawing shapes so that you can see that process. But let me know if you have any questions about how this sets up and the general idea of how it works. That it's not a standalone tablet. You can't take just that tablet somewhere and have it do something. You need it plugged into the host machine that is running the software, whether it's a laptop or a tablet or a PC or whatever it else it is. I love the laptop system because when I go to the art gallery to do my uh, sitting time in the gallery to be able to keep an eye on things, I bring along the laptop and I'll bring along the tablet and I can just sit there at a table drawing away and it makes it very convenient and easy and I don't have to bring all my art supplies with me. So, well recommended. Let me know if you have any questions at all. I'm happy to assess things out for you.